Thanks. So long, Sam. Be seeing you. So long. Sam at the whistle stop. He didn't seem to know me. And no wonder you look like a million. Is it me? It better be. Sit down, Mary, and I'll fix you some breakfast. Only coffee, Molly. You're just like my Kenny. He never eats anything in the morning. Gee, it's a surprise to see you. What brings you back to Chicago? Money. Money? You look like you're rolling in it. <laughs> Don't let this coat fool you, Molly. A mink can cover a lot of things. I came back to sell the house. We do owe you some rent, don't we? Well, I never wrote to ask you because I never needed it till now. You sure didn't. Did you lose your job? No. I gave it up. Oh. Molly, can I stay here for a couple of days? Of course. It's your house. I'll have Kenny moved out of your room in the gym. Oh, no, no. Don't wake him up. It's too early. Well, he's here right now. He, he hasn't left town, has he? Oh, no. You know, Kenny's always up to Ashbury looking around. Looking for what? Well, you know, Kenny, he's uh, always on the go. Right now, I bet he's working on a big deal. I'll take three. Give me two. How many? I'll take three. I'll take five. One dime. I'm out. Raise your nickel. That sounds like the train from Chicago. Expecting someone? He's not expecting no one. I'll see you. Queen. King. And three beauties. <laughs> you haven't won a pot all night, Barker. Cards are against me. I don't know. You did pretty good when you brought your own deck. You're not doing so good yourself, with cards or anything else. Meaning what? Well, Lou got a letter from an old friend of yours. No one cares. Last time I was in Chicago, Lou had me look her up. She's doing all right for herself. Shut up. You want to see the hotel she's living in? Strictly class. Yeah, who'd ever think a little Mary would wind up wearing mink? Get your hand out of it. Get it out. Get it out. Wind up keeping that big trap of yours shut, you hear me? Forget her, Kenny. She's no good for you. That's what I like about you. You've got nerve. Plenty of nerve. Morning, Mr. Lenz. Hi, Al. What happened to you? His tongue slipped. You left the bar in a mess. Go and clean it up. That ain't my job. I'm a bartender, not a busboy. Sometimes I'm not too sure. Been shooting off your mouth again, huh? Oh, he hit me when I wasn't looking. Forget it. One of these days is going to swing and miss. Shave? Yeah.
Thanks, Bob. Hiya, Mom. Now, you listen to me, Kenny. I've been telling you, you've got to stop this staying out all night. And I haven't been talking just to hear myself, either. <laughs> Mom, you're getting fat. Guess what? I'm not good at guessing anymore. Mary's back. There's coffee on the stove and be sure you eat some hot oatmeal. you get this? It was a present. From who? Oh, he owns a department store. We almost got married. A lovely Mary from George. Does that come with a coat? No. There's more than one department store in Chicago. There are no big stores in Ashbury. What did you come back here for? Maybe I came back for you, you chump. You sure it wasn't somebody else? You wrote to Lou Lentz. I answered his letter. That's more than I got from you. You never got anything from me. Go ahead and say it. I never ask anything from anybody. Love. With love. Loving me yours. With all my love, Fred. Something special, huh? I suppose you've been pretty busy since I've been gone. And I'm gonna be kept busy. Are you? Open a restaurant in Chicago, you slam. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're not only the best cook, but you're getting to be the best looking girl in Ashbury. Uh uh, watch out, Mom. That's going to cost you an extra dollar. Uh, you know, Mary, 30 years ago, I'd have stayed up in Chicago without cooking. <laughs> Hiya, folks. Uh, hi, Ernie. Hi, Ernie. You remember Mary, don't you, Ernie? Hi, Ernie. Get some of my apple pie. Thanks, Molly. I couldn't eat another bite. I just had dinner. Just take a little piece here. Uh, <laughs> you can leave the place. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Come on, boy. Hiya, folks. It's for you, Mary. From Lou Lentz. Where shall I put it? Oh, gee, red roses. They're nice, huh? Well, so long. You know, Kenny, I've been thinking about putting some of those wild strawberries this year. They make such nice sauce. Um, how about picking you some, huh? Let Josie do it. I am not going to spend my day out picking berries. What are you doing that's so important? That's no way to talk, Josie. Well, no one ever says anything about him doing a single lick of work. No, he can go to Ashbury every night and spend the money you give him drinking and chasing around. She's right. You ought to quit that kind of monkey business. We ain't that sort of a family. No, son. What do you expect Kenny to do? Staying around here waiting for a job to come to him? Oh, sure. The best time to start looking for a job is 8 o'clock at night. And if you do a good job of looking, you can't get home till morning. And the best place for looking is every beer joint and pool hall on Main Street. That's telling him. You shut up, Sam Beach. If it wasn't for Ernie giving you back the job, you'd still be sitting. Never you mind, son. Don't pay no attention to your father and Josie. They're just blowing off steam. Come on, Ernie, let's go. If you're going to town, Ernie, you can give me a lift. Okay, Kenny. Why, Kenny, I thought you were going to stay home tonight. I've got a date. Wait a minute, Ernie. I'll go with you. Thanks, Ernie. Bye. Thanks. 
Thanks, Daddy. Where are you going? Not where you're going. Chicago. I wanted to see what he was like again. I did. He'll never change. I could have told you that two years ago. Wouldn't have helped two years ago. I hate his guts. The arrogant way he walks around like he owns the town. I and mean, he hasn't got the price of yesterday's newspaper. about him, yet he has the nerve to come in here tonight. Still love me, Fran? What's the matter? Aren't you glad to see me? You didn't come to see me. Thought we had a date for last night. Remember? Hello. Hello. You can talk better than that. Hello, Mary. Give me 50. for us here. Chicago's a big city. We can make out there. What'll I do in Chicago? Dig ditches? Well, what are you doing here? Playing cards all the time. This town, your friends, your family, they're all poison for you, Kenny. At least there you'll have a chance. You'll meet new people. Something will turn up. I know it will. There's too many new lenses there. Somebody mentioned me? This is a private party. I just thought I could do something for you, Sonny. Yeah, you can give me a cigarette. Anything else? 
Now you can light it. Now you've got all you want, you better go. I don't want you hanging around here. The next time won't be so sociable. If you said that with a smile, it would sound better. Let's go. Go where? I'll take you to your house and swing you on the hammock. Oh, that's very funny. Lou, you asked me to go to the Wilton Club. Does the office still go? Sure. Take your hand off her. Make up your mind if you're going with him or me. Her mind's made up. Now beat it, Sonny. my life trying to change you. I'm leaving this town for good. Let's go to the Cat and Vittle and have a drink. Just the two of us. You went to town. Got a cigarette? What's the matter? Couldn't you find no excitement? Listen to that rooster crow. Keeps it up all night long. Can't even hear the train whistle. Fly down here, cars up there full of life. Yet we're always alone. I feel safe too. You know, working in the nightclub and living in the hotel, he's always around, always watching me. Just because I once got in a jam. The police don't know what he does. He never says nothing. But I know he's only waiting for me to make one wrong move. Lose that mean guy that way. You gonna take ten of diamonds? I sure was surprised to see Mary. Only I figured she would be coming back to you. Of 
paused after Chicago. It would be kind of hard on her to come down to your way of living. Especially with an important guy like Lou Nuts about her. Did you see him take that 50 bucks? Why, he'd spend that like we would 50 cents. You know, that makes a big impression on a girl. Did you throw the deuce? Yes. Yes, if it wasn't for Lou, I'd be happy. Would be better for you, too. We both wouldn't have a thing to worry about. Card is sticky on me. I'll have to get a new deck. <clears throat> I never told you how I got into trouble, did I? I lost my nerve. That's what I like about you, Kenny. You got plenty of nerve. Well, it's three weeks to the Ashbury Annual Fair. June the first. That's a big day for Lou. He makes plenty of money out of those concessions. Last year, he made over $15,000. I know because I drove him to the train. And when the show closes, he takes the money to a bank in Detroit. And the train for Detroit has to be flagged from here, see? Now. If the guy in the signal box were to forget to flag the train, Lou wouldn't get back to Detroit, would he? Get me? Hold your cards up, I can see him. Oh, it can be easy done. All I have to do is I drive Lou up here. Your old man's rheumatism's bothering him again. That's why you're here, see? Now I can wait a few minutes. That's all a guy with nerve needs. Then I drive the car up. I know a good place to get rid of them. And as far as anyone knows, Lou never comes back from Detroit.
Have you got a cigarette? Sure. Thanks. What happened to George? Well, he's in the bottom drawer. That's a good place for him. Ken, you see a lot of Gitmo, don't you? Now and then. What do you know about him? He's a good guy. Buys me drinks. Rotten drinks, but he's a good guy. Once Getlow got in a lot of trouble, Lou got him out. Getlow wouldn't be around today if it hadn't been for Lou. Maybe he's got something on Lou. That guy that brought the red roses. Lou don't keep him around for last either. Ken, go easy with Getlow, will you? Are you telling me this or Lou? I'm telling you. Why do you keep seeing Lou? What about me, Mary? What about us? Us, Ken. This is all there is for us. You think you can get anything you want that way, don't you? There are some things a guy don't give up without a fight. You're wrong, Kenny. You've got the wrong plan on everything. You're hurting everyone, your father, your mother, your sister. Me? You're so wrong, Kenny. You've always told me that. No matter what I do, what I feel, I'm always wrong. Maybe you're right, Mary. But I'll be right, too. Right on schedule. Only two more days. Uh, this one's going to be better than last year. Lou signed on a whole carnival. Yes, sir. This fair's going to make someone a rich guy. That's good beer. Dude. And that's my beer. Hello, honey. Sit down. Take care of my boy, will you? He's got lots on his mind. for me, Kenny. You like attention, huh? I'd like a little more from you. Lately, you do seem to have a lot on your mind. A lot of Mary. What about Mary? The whole town's laughing at you. You trying to compete with Lou Lance. You know you don't stand a chance. Why don't you quit beating yourself down, Kenny? Once again, just once again, remember how, remember when. Yeah. 
let's not play games, Kenny. Where do you think you're going? You know where, and you can't hold me by closing your suitcase. Stay a little while longer. That's all I'm asking. Let's stop kidding each other, Kenny. The sooner I leave, the better. Will it be better? What have I got with you? You get what you give. When I needed you most, you walked out on me. Now you're walking out again. I never promised you anything before. But I'm making you promise now. Wait. We'll go together. Go where? Anywhere. It's a long walk to anywhere. This time we'll ride. You're it tonight. Can't be helped. Couldn't it? Someone has to take over. Naturally, it would be you. Come on, let's go watch the kids. Stop 
Miss the Captain Fiddle later. Will you meet me there? Oh, get lost, will you? All right. But when Mary tells you the same thing, don't come crawling back to me. Too bad.
Come on. We'll get in. You didn't have to leave the fair. I could have walked. Molly was worried you'd be late. I still got enough time. What's the matter? Don't you want me to drive you down? What gave you that idea? Somebody who had enough time, you certainly left in an awful hurry. How come you're so quiet tonight? Well, oh, I haven't got nothing to say. I've never stopped you gabbing before. Give me a light. I expected. The father's drunk and the son's probably getting drunk. It's a fine family I'm marrying into. You better flag the train, Annie. It's a great night this turned out to be. I asked you a question, Gidlow. What are you doing here? I thought uh, Kenny was here. I keep him company sometimes. Play a little card. Where are the cards? What's the idea? You can get out now. Now? Kenny, what was going on between you and Gitlow tonight? 
You seem to figure it out for yourself. I'm hoping I was wrong. Until the big moment, huh, Ernie? Yeah, I'm counting the days. Oh, Ernie. Gee whiz, honey, it's our wedding, not a funeral. Same difference. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do you think I should invite little Lance, Ma? I don't know why you should. Just because Mary moved over to his hotel, there's no reason why he has to go to a place she goes. You don't go nowhere without him since the fair. Kenny. Kenny, come and eat your supper. I saw Fran at the hospital today. Is she any better? Well, the doctor says she won't pull through. It's a tough break for the kid. She would love to see you, Kenny. All right, all right. You're going to be real nice to her, aren't you? Well, you didn't think I was going to go and fight with her, did you? Well, I don't know what to expect from you after the way you treated Mary. Oh, bottle it. Well, there isn't anything Fran wouldn't have done for you, Kenny, and you know it. Oh, why don't you stop? Kenny. You mustn't stay long. She's a very sick girl. Thank you. We'll be out of here in a couple of weeks and we'll... we'll... Don't take it so hard, Kenny. It'll work out all right. Look at me, Kenny. Look at me, Kenny. I should have known Josie lied. Mustn't let Josie know she she was just trying to
sorry for everything. <laughs> Look at yourself. You're all broken up. I never thought a woman could do this to you. How does it feel, Kenny? How does it feel to love someone who doesn't give a darn about you? It hurts, doesn't it? It hurts, doesn't it, Kenny? <laughs> All the while I loved you, I was half scared, too. I can see now you're nothing to be afraid of. Nothing good will ever happen to you because you're no good. Go on, beat it! Beat it! Go on down to your gym mill and fill yourself with rock cut. Go on, beat it! Beat it! Beat it! <laughs> Tonight. I hear your sister's getting married, Kenny. Hey, yeah. Kenny. You want to see the trout I caught this morning down at Miller's Brook? It was that big and it weighed. Hurry up, will you? Tonight's my birthday. You want it artistic, don't you? Of course. Then don't rush me. Okay. Hey, Teddy, lay off there, will you? Thanks, Joe. Hiya, Kenny. Pittsburgh. Now, that's the place to have a bar. The steel mill really gives a man a thirst. I've never been to Pittsburgh. Give me a double. Coming up. How come you're drinking alone on a Saturday night? I'm getting exclusive. Haven't you heard? Give me another one. Break down and go see it, Kenny. Not a bad idea. We'll you call it midget village. We'll get midgets from all over the world. Little midgets. Why, I'm telling you, Lou, it's the greatest idea since Noah's Ark. Uh, you can do better than that. Why, I'm telling you, Lou, we'll make a fortune. We'll go all over the world. But I have another idea. We'll go to South Africa and we'll buy it. We'll. Well, what are we celebrating? Remember? This is a private party. <laughs> well, tonight I'm buying. What'll you have? I'll get back. I don't want to smell the liquor on you. <laughs> you like the smell of this, don't you? Good old green cabbage buys everything, doesn't it, Lou? You must be plenty drunk to get the nerve to walk in here again. <laughs> you know? I don't think he likes me. I don't like you. I don't like anything about you. <laughs> Mister, I'm going to tear you apart for that. Don't, Kenny. Please go home. Get him out of here. <laughs> don't you touch him. What are you trying to do here? Take it easy now. Be a good boy, Kenny, and go home. He isn't that drunk. I know he isn't. Well, let's finish our drinks. I think you'd better drink alone. I've still got no use for the guy. But now that he's working and all set, we're bound to run into each other. Why not live in peace? You really mean that, Lou? Sure. I never made a buck holding a grudge. Oh, that's swell, Lou. Why? <laughs> Kenny ain't such a bad guy. You got him all wrong. Well, I, he'd be just tickled to death to shake hands on that. We'll get together soon. You better go down and open up. Sure. Anything you say, just give me the word. Hurry, hurry, the clock is here. Where's Kenny? Kenny! 
Listen, Mom. Well, go ahead. Get those going to pick me up. Well, make sure you're not late, huh? I won't be. You'll even be late for your own wedding. I'll be worth waiting for. Oh, let me go, you wolf. You look swell, Mary. <laughs> Where did you win that? Oh, I borrowed it from a waiter at the Wilson Club. <laughs> Oh, I hope the ceremony don't take too long. Yeah. Hello? Who? Get those for you. For me? Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. What now? Well, we're on our way to church. I don't know, but I'll try. Hey, Ken. I had a talk with Lou the other day. Yeah, how is the old bachelor? He wants that you should be friends. Lou and me? That'd be a gruesome twosome. Now, no kidding. I think it's a good idea for all of us. Mary would like it, too. Come on. stopping here for? Well, he's waiting for us upstairs. Well, we'll be late for the wedding. Oh, it won't take a minute. Now, do it for me, Kenny. All you have to do is to shake hands. All right, but only one shake. Right. gave it to you at the fair. How did it get here? I'll give you three guesses. We gotta get out of here. What for? Are you nuts? They'll pin it onto us. Come on.
Where'd they get you? In the arm. What are we going to do? Well, the roads are hot. We can't move till night. Cigarette. I think we'd better be moving, Kenny. Where to? Your guess is as good as mine. Well, what's the use? That's the eastbound freight. Can you make it? We can't stay here. Come on, let's go. Who it is? Yes, ma'am. Hello, Estelle. Who's your friend? Oh, we just arrived this morning. What's the matter with him? Oh, he's sick. I don't want any trouble around here. Maybe he's got the wrong kind of friends. How can I tell? Oh, but he's with me, ain't he? <laughs> That's just what I'm afraid of. Well, all right, let's get him to bed. Doctor? <laughs> Reminds me of prohibition. You were pretty smart getting me to run away. I'm gonna fix you and then Lou. What did I do? What did you do? You had it all figured out. First the whistle stopped. Now this. How much did Lou pay you to get rid of me? Oh, you don't think I was in on this, do you? I don't think I know. If I had the strength to...
I'll put you upstairs. Oh, there's no rush. I won't be back for a while. Not running out on him, are you? <laughs> do you know I wouldn't do a thing like that, Estelle? Do you, uh, need any money? No. Just luck. All day. Oh, I had to see a lot of people. I left supper in the stove for you. Thanks. Mary. I, I can't stand it no longer. Where is Kenny? You must know what's happened to him, and you've got to tell me. Well, Molly, Kenny's gotten to just about the worst trouble he's ever been in. I knew it. I had a feeling all the time. What do the police want here? Where is Kenny? Did he get hurt? What did he do, Mary? He didn't do anything. He must have gotten panicky and ran away, so it's just as bad. But you must remember, Molly, Kenny didn't do it. Do what? Do what? Hold up the flamingo room. That wasn't Kenny that Al was talking about. The fellow that three shot and chased up to the forest. That wasn't Kenny, was it? I went to the police. They don't believe he did it. They told me it would be so easy to clear him if, if we could only get him back. We gotta find him. We got to. We can get Lou to help. Lou's got money and everything. Go we'll call him on the telephone. Lou's done enough already. We can't do anything until morning anyway. I know why Kenny's in this mess. Everybody's always been jealous of him because he's more of a man than any of them ever will be. I'm not bragging because he's mine. He won't let him put him in jail for something he didn't do. I'll kill the world, he won't. him with a friend of mine in a roadhouse, the old Bohemia, Route 21. You know who put the finger on us, don't you? Yeah. Does Kenny? Oh, he did it in a kind of a daze. But when he comes out of it, he'll... He's got to use his head. He can clear himself. I'm going back with you. I'm not going back. I just stopped by to give you the word. So long, Mary. Get both. You can't leave us now. You got him in You've got to get him out. But Ken is my friend. I never meant him no wrong. You never did him any good. And now you're running out on him when he needs you most. Yet love a good guy. Always buying Kenny drinks. Always looking after Kenny. All right. Run away. Run. You, you, you coward.
Sheriff. The police. Who? What? Chief, it's Gitlow. Gitlow? Hello. Take it down. Yes? Yes. Luth. He framed the whole thing. Yeah. He's here. <laughs> Certainly got to hand it to you. Anyone else would be flat on his back for days with that arm. Where's Gitlow? He'll be back. Where'd he go? He didn't say. You better get to bed. How can I get a lift to Ashbury? <laughs> At six in the morning. Who's the girl? Oh, don't think it's only you, fella. This woman stuff ends up with a kick in the teeth for everybody. You don't know Mary. Mary, Betty, Jane. A man can love any woman. I know. But it's always her. <laughs> 